Estramustine phosphate EMP, also known as estradiol normustine phosphate and sold under the brand names EMCYT and estracite, is a dual estrogen and chemotherapy medication which is used in the treatment of prostate cancer in men. It is taken multiple times a day by mouth or by injection into a vein. Side effects of EMP include nausea, vomiting, gynecomastia, feminization, demasculinization, sexual dysfunction, blood clots, and cardiovascular complications. EMP is a dual cytostatic and hence chemotherapeutic agent and a hormonal anti-cancer agent of the estrogen type. It is a prodrug of estromustine and estromustine in terms of its cytostatic effects and a prodrug of estradiol in relation to its estrogenic effects. EMP has very strong estrogenic activity at the doses used clinically, and has marked antigonadotropic and functional antiandrogenic effects. EMP was introduced for medical use in the early 1970s. It is available in the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, other European countries, and elsewhere in the world. Medical uses EMP is indicated, in the United States, for the palliative treatment of metastatic and or progressive prostate cancer, whereas in the United Kingdom it is indicated for the treatment of unresponsive or relapsing prostate cancer. The medication is usually reserved for use in hormone refractory cases of prostate cancer, although it has been used as a first-line monotherapy as well, due to its relatively severe side effects and toxicity, EMP has rarely been used in the treatment of prostate cancer. This is especially true in Western countries today. As a result, and also due to the scarce side effects of gonadotropin-releasing hormone modulators, GnRH modulators, like luprorilin, EMP was almost abandoned. However, encouraging clinical research findings resulted in renewed interest of EMP for the treatment of prostate cancer. EMP has been used at doses of 140 to 1,400 mg per day orally. Low doses, such as 280 mg per day, have been found to have comparable effectiveness as higher doses but with improved tolerability and reduced toxicity. Doses of 140 mg per day have been described as a very low dosage. EMP has been used at doses of 240 to 450 mg per day intravenously. EMP and other estrogens such as polyestradiol phosphate and ethanolestradiol are far less costly than newer therapies such as GnRH modulators, abiraterone acetate, and enzalutamide. In addition, estrogens may offer significant benefits over other means of androgen deprivation therapy, for instance in terms of bone loss and fractures, hot flashes, cognition, and metabolic status. Available forms EMP is or has been available in the form of both oral capsules 140 mg, 280 mg, and solutions 300 mg for intravenous injection. Contraindications EMP is contraindicated when used in children, patients hypersensitive to estrogens or nitrogen mustards, those with peptic ulcer, an ulcer in the digestive tract, those with severely compromised liver function, those with weak heart muscle, also known as myocardial insufficiency, and those with thromboembolic disorders or complications related to fluid retention. Side effects the side effects of EMP overall have been described as relatively severe. The most common side effects of EMP have been reported to be gastrointestinal side effects like nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, with nausea and vomiting occurring in 40% of men. They are usually mild or moderate in severity, and the nausea and vomiting can be managed with prophylactic antiemetic medications. Nonetheless, severe cases of gastrointestinal side effects with EMP may require dose reduction or discontinuation of therapy. Although nausea and vomiting have been reported to be the most common side effects of EMP, gynecomastia male breast development, has been found to occur in as many as 83% of men treated with EMP, and the incidence of erectile dysfunction is possibly similar to or slightly less than the risk of gynecomastia. As a rule, feminization, a gynoid fat distribution, demasculinization, and impotence are said to occur in virtually or nearly 100% of men treated with high-dose estrogen therapy. Decreased sexual activity has also been reported in men treated with EMP. These side effects are due to high estrogen levels and low testosterone levels. 
Prophylactic irradiation of the breasts can be used to decrease the incidence and severity of gynecomastia with estrogens. Severe adverse effects of EMP are thromboembolic and cardiovascular complications, including pulmonary embolism, deep vein thrombosis, stroke, thrombophlebitis, coronary artery disease, ischemic heart disease, e.g., myocardial infarction, thrombophlebitis, and congestive heart failure with fluid retention. EMP produces cardiovascular toxicity similarly to diethylstilbestrol, but to a lesser extent in comparison at low doses e.g., 280 mg per day oral EMP versus 1 mg per day oral diethylstilbestrol. The prostate cancer disease state also increases the risk of thromboembolism, and combination with docetaxel may exacerbate the risk of thromboembolism as well. Meta-analyses of clinical trials have found that the overall risk of thromboembolism with EMP is 4-7%, relative to 0.4% for chemotherapy regimens without EMP. Thromboembolism is the major toxicity-related cause of discontinuation of EMP. Anticoagulant therapy with medications such as aspirin, warfarin, unfractionated and low molecular weight heparin, and vitamin K antagonists can be useful for decreasing the risk of thromboembolism with EMP and other estrogens like diethylstilbestrol and ethanolestradiol. Adverse liver function tests are commonly seen with EMP, but severe liver dysfunction is rare with the medication. Central nervous system side effects are rarely seen with EMP, although enlarged ventricles and neuronal pigmentation have been reported in monkeys treated with very high doses of EMP, 20 to 140 mg per kilogram per day, for 3 to 6 months. EMP does not appear to have cytostatic effects in normal brain tissue. In women treated with EMP in clinical studies, a few instances of minor gynecological hemorrhages have been observed. EMP is described as relatively well tolerated among cytostatic antineoplastic and nitrogen mustard agents, rarely being associated with significant hematologic toxicity such as myelosuppression, bone marrow suppression, gastrointestinal toxicity, or other more marked toxicity associated with such agents. In a small low dose study using 280 mg per day oral EMP for 150 days, tolerability was significantly improved, with gastrointestinal irritation occurring in only 15% of men, and there was no incidence of severe cardiovascular toxicity or deep vein thrombosis. In addition, no other side effects besides slight transient elevated liver enzymes were observed. These findings suggest that lower doses of oral EMP may be a safer option for the treatment of prostate cancer. Overdose There has been no clinical experience with overdose of EMP. Overdose of EMP may result in pronounced manifestations of the known adverse effects of the medication. There is no specific antidote for overdose of EMP. In the event of overdose, gastric lavage should be used to evacuate gastric contents as necessary and treatment should be symptom-based and supportive. In the case of dangerously low counts of red blood cells, white blood cells, or platelets, whole blood may be given as needed. Liver function should be monitored with EMP overdose. After an overdose of EMP, hematological and hepatic parameters should continue to be monitored for at least six weeks. EMP has been used at high doses of as much as 1,260 mg per day by the oral route and 240 to 450 mg per day by intravenous injection. Interactions EMP has been reported to increase the efficacy and toxicity of tricyclic antidepressants like amitriptyline and amipramine. When products containing calcium, aluminium, and or magnesium, such as dairy products like milk, various foods dietary supplements, and antacids, are consumed concomitantly with EMP, an insoluble chelate complex phosphate salt between EMP and these metals can be formed, and this can markedly impair the absorption and hence oral bioavailability of EMP. There may be an increased risk of angioedema in those concurrently taking ACE inhibitors. Pharmacology Pharmacodynamics EMP, also known as estradiol normistine phosphate, is a combined estrogen ester and nitrogen mustard ester. It consists of estradiol, an estrogen, linked with a phosphate ester as well as an ester of normistine, a nitrogen mustard. In terms of its pharmacodynamic effects, EMP is a prodrug of estromustine, estromistine, and estradiol. 
As a prodrug of estradiol, EMP is an estrogen and hence an agonist of the estrogen receptors. EMP itself has only very weak affinity for the estrogen receptors. The medication is of about 91% higher molecular weight than estradiol due to the presence of its C3 normistine and C17 beta phosphate esters. Because EMP is a prodrug of estradiol, it may be considered to be a natural and bioidentical form of estrogen, although it does have additional cytostatic activity via estromustine and estromystine. EMP acts by a dual mechanism of action, one, direct cytostatic activity via a number of actions, and two, as a form of high-dose estrogen therapy via estrogen receptor-mediated antigonadotropic and functional antiandrogenic effects. The antigonadotropic and functional antiandrogenic effects of EMP consist of strong suppression of gonadal androgen production and hence circulating levels of androgens such as testosterone, greatly increased levels of sex hormone binding globulin and hence a decreased fraction of free androgens in the circulation, and direct antiandrogenic actions in prostate cells. The free androgen index with oral EMP has been found to be on average 4.6-fold lower than with orchiectomy. As such, EMP therapy results in considerably stronger androgen deprivation than orchiectomy. Metabolites of EMP, including estromustine, estromystine, estradiol, and astrone, have been found to act as weak antagonists of the androgen receptor EC50 equals 0.5 to 3.1 μm, although the clinical significance of this is unknown. Extremely high levels of estradiol and astrone occur during EMP therapy. The estrogenic metabolites of EMP are responsible for its most common adverse effects and its cardiovascular toxicity. EMP has been described as having relatively weak estrogenic effects in some publications. However, it has shown essentially the same rates and degrees of estrogenic effects, such as breast tenderness, gynecomastia, cardiovascular toxicity, changes in liver protein synthesis, and testosterone suppression, as high-dose diethylstilbestrol and ethanolestradiol in clinical studies. The notion that EMP has relatively weak estrogen activity may have been based on animal research, which found that EMP had 100-fold lower eutrotrophic effects than estradiol in rats, and may also not have taken into account the very high doses of EMP used clinically in humans. The mechanism of action of the cytostatic effects of EMP is complex and only partially understood. EMP is considered to mainly be a meiotic inhibitor, inhibiting mechanisms involved in the mitosis phase of the cell cycle. Specifically, it binds to microtubule-associated proteins and or to tubulin and produces depolymerization of microtubules KD. 10 to 20 μm for estromustine, resulting in the arrest of cell division in the G2M phase, specifically metaphase. EMP was originally thought to mediate its cytostatic effects as a prodrug of normistine, a nitrogen mustard, and hence was thought to be an alkylating antineoplastic agent. However, subsequent research has found that EMP is devoid of alkylating actions, and that the influence of EMP on microtubules is mediated by intact estromustine and estromystine, with normistine or estradiol alone having only minor or negligible effects. As such, the unique properties of the estromustine and estromustine structures, containing a carbamate ester bond, appear to be responsible for the cytostatic effects of EMP. In addition to its antimitotic actions, EMP has also been found to produce other cytostatic effects, including induction of apoptosis, interference with DNA synthesis, nuclear matrix interaction, cell membrane alterations, induction of reactive oxygen species, free oxygen radicals, and possibly additional mechanisms. EMP has been found to have a radiosensitizing effect in prostate cancer and glioma cells, improving sensitivity to radiation therapy as well. The cytostatic metabolites of EMP are accumulated in tissues in a selective manner, for instance in prostate cancer cells. This may be due to the presence of a specific estromustine binding protein, EMVP, KD. 10 to 35 nm for estromustine, also known as prostatin or prostatic secretion protein (PSP), which has been detected in prostate cancer, glioma, melanoma, and breast cancer cells. 
Because of its tissue selectivity, EMP is said to produce minimal cytostatic effects in healthy tissues, and its tissue selectivity may be responsible for its therapeutic cytostatic efficacy against prostate cancer cells. EMP was originally developed as a dual ester prodrug of an estrogen and normistine as a nitrogen mustard alkylating antineoplastic agent, which, due to the affinity of the estrogen moiety for estrogen receptors, would be selectively accumulated in estrogen target tissues and hence estrogen receptor positive tumor cells. Consequentially, it was thought that EMP would preferentially deliver the alkylating normistine moiety to these tissues, allowing for reduced cytostatic effects in healthy tissues and hence improved efficacy and tolerability. However, subsequent research found that there is very limited and slow cleavage of the normistine ester and that EMP is devoid of alkylating activity. In addition, it appears that estromustine and estromistine may be preferentially accumulated in estrogen target tissues not due to affinity for the estrogen receptors, but instead due to affinity for the distinct EMBP. Antigonadotropic effects EMP at a dosage 280 mg per day has been found to suppress testosterone levels in men into the castrate range to 30 ng per deciliter within 20 days and to the low castrate range to 10 ng per deciliter within 30 days. Similarly, a dosage of 70 mg per day EMP suppressed testosterone levels into the castrate range within 4 weeks. Pharmacokinetics Upon oral ingestion, EMP is rapidly and completely dephosphorylated by phosphatases into estromustine during the first pass in the gastrointestinal tract. Estromustine is also partially but considerably oxidized into estromustine by 17 beta hydroxysteroid dehydrogenases during the first pass. As such, EMP reaches the circulation as estromustine and estromustine, and the major metabolite of EMP is estromustine. A limited quantity of approximately 10 to 15% of estromustine and estromustine is further slowly metabolized via hydrolysis of the normistine ester into estradiol and estrone, respectively. This reaction is believed to be catalyzed by carbamidases, although the genes encoding the responsible enzymes have not been characterized. The circulating levels of normistine formed from EMP are insignificant. Release of nitrogen mustard gas from normistine via cleavage of the carboxylic acid group has not been demonstrated and does not seem to occur. The oral bioavailability of EMP is low, which is due to profound first pass metabolism, specifically, dephosphorylation of EMP. The oral bioavailability of EMP specifically as estromustine and estromustine is 44 to 75 percent, suggesting that absorption may be incomplete. In any case, there is a linear relationship between the oral dose of EMP and circulating levels of estromustine and estromustine. Consumption of calcium, aluminium, or magnesium with oral EMP can markedly impair its bioavailability due to diminished absorption from the intestines, and this may interfere with its therapeutic effectiveness at low doses. Following a single oral dose of 420 mg EMP in men with prostate cancer, maximal levels of estromistine were 310 to 475 nanograms per milliliter, 475,000 pg per milliliter, and occurred after 2 to 3 hours. Estradiol levels with 280 mg per day oral EMP have been found to increase to very high concentrations within one week of therapy. In one study, levels of estradiol were over 20,000 pg per milliliter after 10 days, were about 30,000 pg per milliliter after 30 days, and peaked at about 40,000 pg per milliliter at 50 days. Another study found lower estradiol levels of 4,900 to 9,000 pg per milliliter during chronic therapy with 560 mg per day oral EMP. The circulating levels of estradiol and estrone during EMP therapy have been reported to exceed normal levels in men by more than 100 and 1,000 fold, respectively. Levels of estromustine and estradiol in the circulation are markedly lower than those of estromustine and estrone, respectively, with a ratio of about 110 in both cases. Nonetheless, estradiol levels during EMP therapy appear to be similar to those that occur in mid to late pregnancy, which range from 5,000 to 40,000 pg per milliliter. No unchanged EMP is seen in the circulation with oral administration. The pharmacokinetics of EMP are different with intravenous injection. 
following a single intravenous injection of 300 mg EMP, levels of EMP were higher than those of its metabolites for the first eight hours. This is likely due to the bypassing of first-pass metabolism. However, by 24 hours after the dose, unchanged EMP could no longer be detected in the circulation. The clearance of EMP from blood plasma is 4.85 plus or minus 0.684 L.H. The volumes of distribution of EMP with intravenous injection were small. Under a two-compartment model, the volume of distribution for the central compartment was 0.043 L per kilogram and for the peripheral compartment was 0.11 L per kilogram. The plasma protein binding of EMP is high. Estromustine is accumulated in tumor tissue, for instance prostate cancer and glioma tissue, with estromustine levels much higher in these tissues than in plasma, e.g., 6.3 and 15.9 fold, respectively. Conversely, levels of estromustine in tumor versus plasma are similar, 1.0 and 0.5 fold, respectively. Estromustine and estromustine appear to accumulate in adipose tissue. The elimination half life of estromustine with oral EMP was 13.6 hours on average, with a range of 8.8 .8 to 22.7 hours. Conversely, the elimination half life of estromustine with intravenous injection was 10.3 hours, with a range of 7.36 to 12.3 hours. For comparison, the corresponding elimination half lives of astrone were 16.5 and 14. 7 hours for oral and intravenous administration, respectively. Estromustine and estromustine are mainly excreted in bile and hence in feces. They are not believed to be excreted in urine. Chemistry EMP, also known as estradiol 3 normistine 17 beta phosphate or as estradiol 3, bis 2 chloroethyl carbamate, 17 beta dihydrogen phosphate, is a synthetic estrained steroid and a derivative of estradiol. It is an estrogen ester, specifically, EMP is a dester of estradiol with a C3 normistine nitrogen mustard carbamate moiety ester and a C17 beta phosphate ester. EMP is provided as the sodium or megalamine salt. Related antineoplastic agents, although none of them were ever marketed, include allostramistine, atramistine, cytestrol acetate, estradiol mustard, ICI-85966, and phenestrol. Estramustine is practically insoluble in water, is highly lipophilic, and is non-ionizable. The phosphate ester of EMP was incorporated into the molecule in order to increase its water solubility and allow for intravenous administration. History EMP was first synthesized in the mid-1960s and was patented in 1967. It was initially developed for the treatment of breast cancer. The idea for EMP was inspired by the uptake and accumulation of radiolabeled estrogens into breast cancer tissue. However, initial clinical findings of EMP in women with breast cancer were disappointing. Subsequently, radio-labeled EMP was found to be taken up into an accumulated rat prostate gland, and this finding culminated in the medication being repurposed for the treatment of prostate cancer. EMP was introduced for medical use in the treatment of this condition in the early 1970s, and was approved in the United States for this indication in 1981. EMP was originally introduced for use by intravenous injection. Subsequently, an oral formulation was introduced, and the intravenous preparation was almost abandoned in favor of the oral version. Society and culture Generic names EMP is provided as the sodium salt for oral administration, which has the generic names estromustine phosphate sodium USAN, and estromustine sodium phosphate BANM, JAN, and as the megalamine salt for intravenous administration, which has the generic name estromustine phosphate megalamine. The INNM is estromustine phosphate. The name estromustine phosphate is a contraction of estradiol normistine phosphate. EMP is also known by its former developmental code names LEO-299, RO-21-8837, and RO-21-8837-001. Brand names 
EMP is most commonly marketed under the brand names Estracite and EMCYT, but has also been sold under a number of other brand names, including Amsoprose, Biacetyl, Selmistin, Estramustin HEXAL, Estramistina Phylaxis, Estranovig, Multicin, Multicin Inject, Proesta, Prostamustin, and Sulaprost. Availability EMP is marketed in the United States, Canada, and Mexico under the brand name EMCYT, whereas the medication is marketed under the brand name Estracite in the United Kingdom and elsewhere throughout Europe as well as in Argentina, Chile, and Hong Kong. It has been discontinued in a number of countries, including Australia, Brazil, Ireland, and Norway. Research EMP has been studied in the treatment of other cancers such as glioma and breast cancer. It has been found to slightly improve quality of life in people with glioma during the first three months of therapy. References Further reading <laughs>